We didn't really do much last night after we got back from dinner. We just kind of lazed around, watched a few Christmas movies, took some naps, and just hung out. But today, our morning's been not too eventful. We went downstairs to the gym. I ran like a quick little like three miles. And now we're headed to a place that we knew when we were coming back here that we had to go. And that is Quarter Two Sisters. It is a insane buffet that you can get all kinds of things on. Prime rib, shrimp, so much good food. So we're headed there now. And then we have a little cocktail tour booked at the end of the day, which is, well, four o'clock. So we're gonna do that now. I got my, uh, one of my Christmas presents on Zapp's Voodoo Chips. Y'all know about Zapp's. Let me know because they are the best chips. And they were actually, weren't they invented down here? Created down here? Started down here in New Orleans. So I had to get it. I had to get it. Had to. So now we're headed there. So let me get my coat and we'll head out. We also have to return some of our, uh, our glasses because we asked for some glasses so we could have our aqua de Valencia. I need to take these back downstairs. Also, you have to see Jesse's sweatshirt. <laughs> Turn around, let's see that. <laughs> so good. If you know about Rick and Morty, we're besties now. If you like Bob's Burgers and Rick and Morty, yeah, we love you. So, let's take these back.
stomach hurts so bad but it was so delicious thanks Jesse <laughs> making sure he tells me I have a one hour don't be don't be messing around all right so we're back I stopped at Walgreens and got some of this um, the CeraVe healing ointment like I don't know if y'all heard of uh, slugging I just heard about it from actually one of my child clients who was telling me about it. But basically, you do your skincare and then you seal it in with like something that's like petrolatum based or petroleum based, so like Vaseline, Aquaphor, CeraVe, um, and then you put it on at the end. And I thought this would be a good time to try it because it has been so cold while we've been here. And usually I am like crazy oily. I'm still pretty oily. But I feel like my skin is so dry. And since I'm not really drinking as much water, just because like, we do a lot of drinking on vacation. And waters right now in this hotel are $4 a bottle and I refuse. But anyway, I digress. But you just kind of put this on like at the end and it creates like a nice little barrier. So we're gonna try it, we're gonna see how it does. It says non-greasy, so 
Let me know if y'all have done it. And if you've done it, do you like it? And do you have oily skin? But let me know. So we're just gonna hang out here uh, until our cocktail tour. Um, yeah, it's a two and a half hour tour. I think we're supposed to make four stops. Something like that. So, see you when we're getting ready to leave for that. All right, so took my little nap. And now we're headed to drink cocktails. We need to step downstairs and fill up my water bottle to get water, because we're not spring chickens anymore. Y'all, I had this really great joke that I was gonna say, and what happens? Jesse says it. You didn't say that shit. He didn't say it. He Carlos Mencia'd me, took my joke. Didn't even deliver it as well as I would. You proud of yourself? I'm disappointed that you didn't use it, man. You're talking all this nonsense. You're just standing there with your hands in your pockets. <laughs> Chump. Took it. Took Somebody my, had to do it. Man. Took my joke. Mm. My original joke. Carlos Mencia. Also, brought these little babies. This is cold. It's not as cold as it was, but thank you, JMO, for. I'm going to get a picture before a joke. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to open these up now. Dude, for anybody who has chronically cold hands or limbs, because they make uh, shoe insoles too, and I didn't bring this, but these little hot hands, God, they're nice, man. They're so nice. Oh my God, it feels so good. You just like shake it, take it out and shake it. it feels good. It's gonna be nice when we're out here in the frigid temperatures. So. <laughs> Down into the high 40s. Oh, listen, you felt my hands. You're cold. A, what was it a Natchez Thank Punch? Yep. As our first drink, so. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wait. It's delicious. The original, uh, the original hurricane was um, a way of uh, using up uh, bunch of rum that had been purchased. Uh, so that first drink was basically like kind of a riff on like a hurricane. The Natchez punch, so delicious. Now we're headed to the second one. Uh, Cocktail number four today. <laughs> or is it number five? Uh, I don't know, I think it's four. It's water based so you can't go that congratulations everybody you're all French again and there was much rejoicing <laughs> and then a week later they from the same balcony announced oh by the way we sold you to the Americans peace we're out <laughs> <laughs> and there was a great weeping and gnashing of They say the first time we had it that it tastes like tea. It turns out it's like a gin steeped in tea. So, good thing I like chai now. But we're gonna get a Pimps cup here. And it's delicious. So. Thank you. Delicious. I think a Pimp's Cup is like, thank you. Yes. So, him is the lemonade, it's some soda water. Uh, our other bartender at the hotel, he actually puts a little bit of gin in it. So, this is delicious. Thank God for my hot hands. Holding these cold drinks. Take you like it? Yeah. Why cocktail is all kind Three different stories, they're all possible for wild man. And like provably so. Like all of history is, is 
at best, loosely gossiping about it. Like, <laughs> anything, we think of history as this permanent thing written in stone, but even the stuff written in stone isn't permanent. There were Egyptian pharaohs that literally scraped other pharaohs' names out of history, took a chisel and knocked their names off the wall, uh, making his own patent medicine. Now, uh, this is a thing that, um, like a lot of things that you drink now used to be medicine, or like Coca-Cola. Medicine, they used to have cocaine in it. Medicinal cocaine, <laughs> but um, Peixos bitters uh, was one of those things. It was uh, a tincture of herbs soaked in alcohol to uh, arrive at a sort of combination of pleasant flavor and uh, something that's uh, really soothing to the stomach. All right, so that was cocktail number six of the day. Headed to number seven. <laughs> <laughs> it's always funny watching people watch me vlog because they don't want to look, but they look. So. All right, so we are back at the Court of Two Sisters, and I learned that the courtyards were made for not just like what they look like, but for a fire break. So if the fire broke out, like in the buildings or whatever, there was an area outside that could kind of stop the fire, and a lot of the courtyards had uh, water features like the fountains and things like that, so that way you could help put out your house with the fountain that's in the courtyard. And here, they are doing a, what was the name of the drink? Bayou Bash. Bayou Bash. Has Soko in it, not drinking that. Probably get a hurricane. That's more delicious. So, I got the French 75. Delicious. With Hendrix, of course. Let me try Hank. Okay, this is the Bayou Bash, right? Let me try it. I like it. There's Southern Comfort in it. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Alright. So we're going to the next one. So, uh, but uh, I imagine that there, Isabella is a very popular name. I imagine there, there's probably more than one, just like there was more than one. Oh, it's so lucky. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, then, <laughs> yeah. I did it like Quinn, too. Yeah, it's, uh, it's like the, the Blarney Stone is for the, uh, yeah, yeah, the... I was telling that guy, beep, beep, because he's about to run into me. And then he started saying, beep, beep. Who got the keys to the cheat? Do you hear him? <laughs> Passive object. Ooh! It's because you're now following a stranger into a dark alley. These could be a hallucination. This is the absinthe bar. I won't be getting any absinthe because I'm not ridiculous. I don't like licorice. So. No, we, this is our seventh cocktail. You know. That little spot there? Yeah. Uh, I can't remember the name of it. But uh, it was a dueling game when they were so, where they were sword fight. Yeah. And that was back when you're supposed to be like, if you like, nick them, fine. But back then, the, the medicine wasn't good. So I can still Nick get. Nick is like, uh, now, you up, like you're gone. Uh, what else? And, uh, back here, one of the first things she did was yeah, so if you get an infection, you get fucked. Yeah, they would. So they would do that. But then guns got into the old sometimes. So then when that happened, the city was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they moved the duelings out to. Uh, what's the big park called today? 
Mm -hmm. And you can help pay for the park? What? C City Park? Little, you know, City Park. City Park. Yeah, alright. Uh, I don't know if you know this, City Park was designed by the same person that designed Central Park. Uh, she said, yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. yeah. But, so know, once guns got like, introduced, uh, they moved the duels. The gun duels are like, you cannot do it right here. No, that's too much going Swords on. are fine, but what's guns? And they put out there, and there's a spot in uh, City Park uh, called the Dueling Shoes. I, I don't even know straws are Mm -hmm. I don't know the straws or anything. So here you go. No kidding. Oh, here, more yeah, bonus material. If you look through the window there, you see the, uh, the see this jail? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the closest, this is the closest proximity. I mean, this all happened at the same point in history. Closest proximity in the U.S. of a jail, a bar, and a jail. <laughs> there you go. What is it called? A dark end? No, wait. Absentee. Absentee. Oh, that's clever. Yeah. Right, that's right. Okay, you guys got peach now, so I'm going to so I can see that. Listen, I was talking shit. That was an drink absinthe, but it has absinthe, peach schnapps, and lemon juice. And it's warm, so. Mm. Thank you very much. So good. Listen, I was talking a lot of trash about not drinking it. It's good. So, we're on our way to the next one. This hot drink is delicious. Also, I've seen two French Bulldogs while we've been here. So I think it's a sign that I need to get a French Bulldog. So. Alright, so I'll have to tell you about it more when we get back, but this is the world's oldest gay bar. And Listen, I told Jesse, if he makes me drink absinthe, that he is babysitting me for the night. And we just went to the oldest gay bar in the world. Last time I talked to y'all, uh, <laughs> we were on our way back from the cocktail tour, which I had too much fun at, uh, and I didn't feel so great once I got back, so I just crashed. So today has been a very lazy day, which has been nice, but at the same time, I always feel kind of guilty, like not doing much on vacation, even though it's vacation, so you shouldn't do too much anyway. But either way, we're gonna go to Cafe du Monde and get some beignets because we have yet to have beignets since we've been here um and then maybe walk around see if there's some shopping maybe not we'll see but now we're gonna head to cafe du mall also just got me some uh <laughs> some zaps voodoo chips and i mean if you're in new orleans you got to get some zaps voodoo chips because that's where they're from this back looks like it's open bag is open but I'm still gonna eat them. <laughs> Alright, so 
had to go back and get my coat because I was freezing, but Jess already made it all the way through line. So if you see the video and it's terrible, it's because Jesse took it. But, <laughs> okay. Would you get me a hot chalk? I'm sorry, there's some terrible music being played. So hot chalk? Hot. It's good. It is Swiss Miss though. I mean, I like Swiss Miss, but it's Swiss Miss. How much was it? Like it was like four, four. All right, so it was four bucks. So four bucks for some Swiss Miss. It's like it's packed in there. So, all right, let's try this beignet. Seven warehouses make up this one building, correct? Okay. So cool. So cool. Alright, I got a gimlet. It's like a mint cucumber gimlet. It's delicious. Mm, so good. Alright, now we're gonna try and go get dinner. Hello.
got one more drink for the bathtub. It is a blueberry gimlet. Let me taste it. Ooh. <laughs> this is good. It's tasty. Mm. So now, I just have to go upstairs, run my bath, we'll twist this hair. But also, our dinner was amazing. I got the crispy gulf uh, fish. I had some shrimp. That was delicious. H had the uh, pork. Oh, oh spilled my drink. H had the pork. Got a bite of that. It was delicious. Um, oh, he also got like some sweet potato with it. That was so good. And I had that beet salad, which was. But anyway, so we're gonna go in here, twist this hair, and I'm gonna run a nice long bath. All right, put this in the fridge so I can have it for when I take my bath. So yeah, so right here. So we're leaving today. Luckily, we uh, our flight leaves at like 7, 7.30 I think. 7.30. So we have a good bit of time before we leave to actually do some, you know, some things around New Orleans. And if you notice, I am in a shirt, not a sweater and a coat because today is gonna be 70 degrees, which is so nice because when we got here, it was what, in the 20s? It was half. It was half that. <laughs> Probably less than half that. But uh, yeah, so we're actually gonna get to walk around and do some things. We're gonna drop off our luggage. I just, I just realized, Hank just realized that they broke the crap out of my luggage and I haven't even had it for like a year yet. So that's great. Never mind the fact that they lost it, which was a different one. They lost one, broke the other one. Cause they didn't lose that one. Anyway, so. We're gonna go walk around. Jesse has some fried chicken coming because he loves this place called Willie Mays. So he ordered some fried chicken on DoorDash. So we gotta go down there and get that and that's gonna be part of his carry on. So uh, yeah, but then we're gonna go get some po' boys, walk around, see what we can see before we leave New Orleans. Uh, and yeah, so we'll see you whenever we're doing that. <laughs> you know? So we just had to come and check out the, ah, the courtroom, courtyard. Thanks, Jess. The courtyard, because Jesse's still waiting on his uh, chicken delivery. But this courtyard's cool. Like, there's this like structure, like in the center here. I'm trying to see it. So apparently, it's still a chimney, which is pretty cool. It's like, I need to. Oh, what did he say this was? Oh, it was like warehouses. Yeah. So a bunch of old warehouses. Pretty cool. Standing one, waiting for my. Uh, I kind of just forget it when I to say it. Waiting for my pool. There's a line. It's moving pretty fast. So that's nice. What are you getting, Jess? <laughs> Roast beef po' boy, red beans and rice. Mm -hmm. I'm getting a shrimp po' boy. Some potato salad. Just that seat. I'm gonna lie Roast beef? 
and then I got potato salad. It looks like old school potato salad. Well. And then Jesse got red beans and rice. Of course he did. He's still mad about his chicken, but we're gonna get him. We're gonna get him. <laughs> Try. <laughs> this looks like my grandma's potato salad. All right, let me see. <laughs> That's like old school dance out. They got no boy. Then I got extra marmalade sauce on it. Sometimes they have different things in uh, different areas. So we're gonna walk downtown, do a tiny little bit of shopping. So now we're downtown in the French Quarter. And the whole time I was thinking we were in the French Quarter, we are not, we weren't. We're in like what? I guess just downtown. Or, yeah, I don't know when you were talking about it, honestly. Like earlier when we were walking around. This Over is more. Mother's is downtown. Okay, so now we're this more French, French Quarter. Quarter, and I like the French Quarter much better. It's much more artsy and just some cool stuff down here. So we're gonna go try and find like, isn't it Millionaire's Row? Uh, yeah. Alright. We're gonna try to find uh, Millionaire's Row. That's where like four story house was. A lot of cool old buildings. There are some cool old buildings that are down here, but we're gonna try to find like the old, old architecture down there. Tried to find it, but that house is actually like 20, 20 minute drive away. So we're just gonna look at some of the old architecture that's down here and see some really cool old houses so even though I can't see horror story there's some cool old ones that pretty of course not that elevator I got a chance to see because Georgetown Georgetown John Thompson as they put so that nice gentleman was telling us all kinds of stuff about this area so right here like this area and then this area like across the street is where uh, they sold a lot of slaves and a lot of these mansions here still have their slave quarters so let me spin you around let you see there is a building right over there these two little like blue doors are the slave quarter entrances and he was saying that um, which I mean if you remember Katrina, the, when Katrina came through, they broke the 17th Ward levees on purpose because this was like such a big tourist area, but they didn't want to, you know, really mess up all this property down here. So they blew the levees down there to preserve all this down here. And they had a lot of people in the Superdome and all this stuff, and they were in there with dead bodies because you had elderly people, you had children, and. The elderly people were running out of medicine. The infants were running out of uh, formula. But he did say there were some police officers that were taking like groups of them to Walmart and things like that. Broke into Walmart and let them get like toiletries, canned food, all those things that they needed. But they were trying to say, they were trying to sell them on this thing that like it didn't flood down here because <laughs> it was higher ground. But he was like, the river's like two blocks that way, so, which is why there's a lot of like uh, slave quarters and things down this way because the river's right down there. So that obviously, a lot of the slave trade would have gone on like 
basically right here so crazy and like some of these mansions oh there was a house on the corner that uh jay-z and beyonce own it's like a yeah. music room so crazy 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 yeah and super nice guy he said he was a homeless veteran so gave him gave him like 10 bucks give him something to eat hopefully something to drink so would have never known that and if you did see well, I was trying to show you on my phone. There's a QR code that you can scan on uh, your phone. And it kind of shows you uh, kind of in real time, like, how they would have had all the enslaved people just, like, lined up, like, just in the in the street here. Well, I guess it really wouldn't have been street. It just would have been, you know, crazy, crazy. I'd probably say that they're fresher. You know? Yeah. Mm. So yeah. Much yeah, better a, than Cafe du Mont. That's not my favorite thing to eat. Oh yeah, I did see that sign up there. Mmm. Real good. Alright, so we're back. Uh, that blueberry gimlet. All right, so we're back. Now, basically, I have to switch over all my stuff from my like my regular first backpack to my like because it has my laptop in it, and I'm not checking my laptop. So switch all my stuff. Also. I kind of had an issue last night that Jesse didn't want to tell me about until we checked out because he knew I would freak out. But uh, <laughs> we had a mouse in the room. So because of that, she gave us a two complimentary drink card. So we're going to get a couple drinks. Sit here while I switch things over in my luggage. So yeah. Hey y'all, so we've been back from New Orleans for a few days, well more than a few days, and I just had to show you what Delta <laughs> did to my luggage. I have not had this luggage for very long. It is the CalPAC hue and green size medium and that's one of my absolute favorite colors like olive green is my color and everything aside for one I'm gonna show you has fared well I mean they're like I'm not sure if you can see it but like a few scratches honestly nothing too bad but here's <laughs> here's what happened so I noticed it before we were getting ready to leave uh, on the last day and it started off as a small little crack but now 
It's like this huge, like, huge crack. It's awful. And then, when we got off the plane, there was another one. Let me find the other side. There it is. This might have been the original one. So, huge crack right there. And like, I get it, like, airlines are tough on luggage. But I would think that, like, if you're gonna make luggage, that you would make it durable enough to withstand, you know, major airlines. So I had to get into this whole thing with like Delta. And sadly, I used a coupon when I bought this. So they only reimburse you for what you paid. But to replace it, obviously, it's gonna be so much more expensive. But I'm gonna look into some different luggage, see what they have. I like that this one like expanded a little bit and it was just such pretty luggage. And I mean, I liked Calpac, but I mean, the fact that I bought this in March <laughs> and it got broken like at the end of December, it's pretty sad. So yeah, yeah, I'm gonna buy new luggage. But if you stayed all this way, I appreciate you. Consider, you know, subscribing, sticking around, seeing what else I get up to. Definitely follow along on uh, Instagram if you wanna see more like, you know, more day-to-day -day things of what I get into, what I eat, where we go, what we see, but yeah. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, y'all.